Hey friends, it's Lane with Crafty Life Mom. I am back again today with another DIY tutorial. This is for the 25 days of crafts and DIYs and printables that I am doing as a series for the next 25 days for you. So today I have a Christmas DIY that I am going to share with you. Alright, so for today's DIY, it is an actual Christmas ornament. As you can see, I am standing in front of my main Christmas tree, which is in my front living room of my home. And if you are looking at the tree, you can see that I went with a buffalo check theme this year. I absolutely love buffalo check, and over the last few years, I have incorporated it into my home. I think two years ago, I did the black and red buffalo check only. Last year I did black and white only and this year I incorporated the two black and white and red and black buffalo check into my home. So you can see my Christmas tree is covered with this pattern and I absolutely love it. It is very, very trendy right now. So for today's DIY, I am going to show you how you can make these cute and adorable miniature embroidery hoop ornaments. These ornaments are super fun and super quick and easy to make. I'll have some links down below where I'll show you how you can get the materials for these fairly quickly and make at least a dozen for your tree. You can see here I have a truck and tree file which is on this embroidery hoop here and I have an ornament that has the words Merry Christmas. Both of these files are going to be included in the resource library on craftylifemom.com. If you are an email subscriber, which is completely free, you can download the SVG cut files for both of these ornaments on the blog so that you have the files to make these ornaments for your own home. I hope that you guys like this tutorial, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so to get started, what you're going to need is a couple of materials. I went ahead and pre-cut some fabric squares into about five by five inch size of a square. You can use any fabric you want for this, but like I said, I just really love the Buffalo Check theme this year. So of course, I'm making all 12 ornaments for my tree using the black and red Buffalo Check. The next thing you're going to need is the miniature embroidery hoops, which I will link down below, and the SVG cut files that you're going to download from the blog. As you can see, I have two of the files here that I went ahead and pre-cut and weeded out or removed the excess vinyl from and then I went ahead and heat pressed the image down onto the fabric just center this up and make sure that it's in the middle of the little piece of fabric so that you can center it in your embroidery hoop and then once it's ready you can remove the transfer material then simply just line it up into the embroidery hoop, putting the piece on the bottom that doesn't have the clip, and then the clip piece on top. And then I did not cut my fabric, I just hot glued it down in place. This actually gives you a little bit more uh, fabric to work with so that you do not get hot glue on your fingers or burn them. <laughs> Once that's done, you are going to want to embellish the top with some greenery. I actually happen to have some strands of this boxwood lying around and some pom-poms that I've had in my craft collection. I also took some twine and just tied it around the top uh, area of the embroidery hoop and then I cut about six inches of the boxwood wreath. After I cut the piece off that I needed, I went ahead and folded the ends into the middle section of the wreath or of the boxwood and then just placed it on the embroidery hoop with a little bit of hot glue. Lastly, I took three red fuzzy palms from my stash and hot glued them to the center of the boxwood so that they kind of represented berries on the greenery. And there's what it looks like completely finished. I think it's super cute. And like I said, I made a dozen of these for my Christmas tree this year. You can also make these as gifts. You could put your friends' names on them or tie them on top of your Christmas gifts this year. 
I absolutely love the way this turned out. You can also supplement different ribbons if you want to instead of the twine, as you can see here. I hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching.